guys, how's it going? It's Gary here, and I'm going to show you something that, thanks to a helpful forum post on uh, the iRacing forums, is sometimes you may have noticed, especially if you reinstalled uh, iRacing recently, you may notice that <clears throat> at times when you go into the sound settings, either you will not have voice chat or it if you enable it, it has system default no matter what you set, and the spotter stuff will remain the same. Well, there's a simple fix for that. Uh, now, I mean, you could go through and set, but one of the biggest things is it'll always stay to the default um, spotter pack no matter what you choose. Well, I'm going to show you how to fix that. And of course, And of course, the post that I found was how to fix iRacing sound not working. It, basically, somebody was asking how to fix it, not making a statement of that. But Andy Frame um, on July 20th had the best answer, and it's one that works. It says, finally located the solution. Apparently, the apparently Logitech G Hub is preventing the app.ini from updating and saving. It's not only affecting sound devices, but graphical changes and other things that are adjusted and not saving upon leaving and rejoining a session. And then he says what the answer is. Well, I'm gonna show you what to do. First of all, we're gonna bring up and um, I just did um, the Windows key and E which brings up the quick access. But what you'll need to do is go into your documents folder, which is where you, all your iRacing stuff is, and find the app.ini file and open it. Now, this is where all the settings for uh, your um, iRacing um, is set. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to look for this phrase, true force enabled. So we're going to go edit and find in here, true force enabled has already had it here. Now yours, as you see, it's down here. You will, for you, it will be true force enabled equals one. It says enabled true force api in logitech true force wheels well if you don't have true force you don't need it so set that to zero and that will disable it um and it's in buy and that part is in binary zero being off one being on it's either enabled or disabled and so right now with, with it set as one like it is in default you're telling it hey enable this and that's on um, you know telling Logitech to, for some reason, not do that. Um, change that to zero and then save, uh, you know, go file, save, or control S. All right, guys, we're back in the sim. And now let's take a look at the settings. And as you see, they've remained. Now, I haven't run a test yet. Uh, I will shortly to see if it actually does the JJ spotter pack, uh, the cuss pack and that, but with reloading um, the sound or reloading the session, it has at least kept everything the same before it was going back to like it was, uh, like I demonstrated like it was before. Also, if you're having trouble with your, um, uh, display settings, your graphic settings not saying the same. Uh, that will also, should also fix this. Hopefully it will. But yeah, that's what it is. So guys, that's going to do it for today. I hope that this video helps some people who are having problems with with uh, app.ini not, um, not taking some settings. Um, as well... It will also have the um, the th the settings where you set it. 
So, like, I usually keep it on relative. It always defaults to lap timing. I like keeping it on relative unless I'm doing um, time trials. Then I'll switch it over to that. But that. So, hopefully, that takes care of it for you guys and fixes the issue. Just remember the biggest thing that's causing, especially if you're using Logitech equipment, is G Hub is not. Um, uh, helping with that. Remember, you have to go to your uh, documents folder uh, for, and then find your um, iRacing folder. Open app.ini and find TrueForce enabled and change the uh, one to a zero save and that should take care of your issue anyway guys that's going to do it for today peace out take care mm -hmm.